Hello, and welcome back to yet another Flora and the Novice Explorers video. This week it's slightly different. We have transported you in time a little bit and you are up to date with us in Portugal because we have been tagged in the hashtag van life tag. So if you've been following our channel, you know that we usually reserve Tuesdays for vlogs. However, we've decided to push those back this week because Gary Burfield Wallace tagged us in the van life tag and we said that we'd get around to this ASAP, but we've had a slightly different week this week. We'll explain that in another video. So we're filming it right now and hopefully getting it out as soon as possible. Hashtag van life tag is 10 questions that has been created by Pebbles and Peach. Her YouTube channel is linked here and it's a way of getting the van life community together. It's 10 questions, everybody answers the same and you then tag in three fellow van lifers to answer the questions. It's like a modern day chain letter, but better. The real beauty of the tag is that each person's video is completely different to the others. Our experience is completely different to other people, so you get quite a unique perspective around the same 10 questions, which is quite cool, really. Yeah, so from our perspective, we are travelling full-time for one year in our very small van that we created ourselves and not having to work because we saved up the pennies. So now the introduction is over, let's get into the questions. Question one, what is the make and model of your van? Flora is a 2010 VW T5.1 long wheelbase, 102 brake horsepower T30. And we love her a lot. Two, how long did your van build take? It took two and a half years for us to convert Flora, mainly because we were both working full-time jobs, which pretty much clashed so we had to book certain weekends and weeks off to be able to get time to create Flora. And it was truly a labor of love, but at the same time, we didn't really rush. Number three, where has been your favorite place to stay in the van? The Outer Hebrides have been my favorite place so far, just because of the pure amount of freedom, huge beaches, lovely scenery, but you do need the weather. And my favourite so far, which was quite unexpected, was the southeast coast of Spain, just for its amazing beachside and cliffside wild camping spots. Question four, where is the worst place you've stayed in your van? A dogging spot just outside Cambridge. As long as you haven't had a drink, you can always move. So that's what's good about having a home on wheels. So we can safely say we moved rather swiftly from that one. I thought we were here for an adventure, but apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> Question five, how many people have you had in your van at one time? So surprisingly, for quite a small van, we've had six people at one time in the van. But one was a very small baby about this big. So we'll say 5.1 people, which is why she's a T5.1. <laughs> Are we leaving that in? <laughs> yeah, why not? Question six, have you had any disasters? So touch wood, we've had no disasters as of yet, but we have come very, very close. We've had a dink in the bumper in Scotland, which was me. Uh, we spilt soup all over the back end of the van, but that was still in its planning stages. And we have moved a fair few meters with a full bottle of fresh urine, which wasn't secured or with a lid on. It didn't spill, but it was a goddamn close shave. Question seven, what is your favorite feature of your van? So I think my favorite feature has to be the solar panel. It just still blows my mind that right now we are creating a lot of power. The van just parked up and it's just amazing. My favorite feature I think has to be the pallet wood furniture because I think it's quite unexpected when you see the outside of Flora. Her inside is just totally different and quite unique. Question eight, what is your least favorite part of van life? I think it's fair to say there's a little bit of stigma around traveling in a van these days. People thinking that we don't shower and that we litter and make the place dirty, which realistically we're the ones picking up the litter and trying to make the area nice for fellow travelers and fellow tourists. Favorite part of van life. So a common theme with a lot of van life tag videos is that the community is the favorite part for most people, the favorite aspect, which is true. It's a quite a big community and very positive. And we speak to a lot of people online 
However, by the time we finished our van, we just hit the road, so we didn't get really time to immerse ourselves in the community properly, but we're looking to rectify that as we go on. Yeah, and traveling around, we don't really stay in a spot long enough. So you meet people along the way, and everybody's so friendly and so lovely, and want to just tell their stories and hear yours. It is really nice. But really, for us, it's the freedom to roam. You can be in a city centre one minute and then out by the beach the next. It all depends on what you want, what you're feeling and where the road takes you. Last but not least, question 10. Do we have any top tips for someone about to embark on a van life adventure? So if I was giving a top tip to myself from the past, I was quite anxious before we embarked on this trip and I would say just relax into it. You read horror stories online and it does give you this sort of anxiety about certain destinations, certain places, but I think a lot of it is exaggerated. Yeah, I think the chances of you getting gassed on your first night in France are very, very, very slim. We're not saying bad stuff doesn't happen to people on the road, but I think it's less than it may feel. Yeah, I think always go with your gut and try and be smart and think about the possible situations and scenarios and your surroundings, but I think We've chilled out a lot in this process and we sleep very soundly in our little home on wheels. I think it's important to say as well to build the van exactly the way you want your van. Someone's always going to have an opinion and someone's always going to have a van that's bigger and better than yours, but do what you want. So there you go, that's it for our van life tag. Once again, we'd like to say a big thank you to Gary and Pebbles and Peach. Their channels will be linked down below. And what you've all been waiting for, who are we going to tag? Numero uno. Nomadic veteran. Numero dos. Fantastic traveling. Numero three. Trois. <laughs> Wobble box adventures. Well, that's it for our van tag video. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, beautiful scenery. So if you want to know more about us, us two mugs, then click subscribe below and have a check out of our YouTube channel. We've got our van build flora from scratch yep. and then all of our adventures so far, which include the UK and Europe. We've been on the road for six months at this point. Mm. So there's plenty of vlogs to get your teeth into and possible inspiration for your next trip in your camper. Yeah, we're doing all sorts of videos at the minute, but very much centred around travel and the van life things. And we've also got a blog as well at www.campcomforts.co.uk. We've got all the social media links as well. Everything will be down below. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Toodle pip. Ha, <laughs> ha,